Hi. First of all, sorry for my English. It's not perfect, so, well. My name is Humberto. I'm a graphic artist. And I'm starting this YouTube channel because I feel it's time to resume a project I had since around 20 years ago now. And I'm going to document all my progress from here on. This is an anime style feature film with a vintage visual style. Several years ago I made a technical demo that worked pretty well, but technology at the time was not as advanced as it is today and it made it very difficult to achieve those kinds of shots. Uh, on top of that I lost many of my f footage but I kept the assets so now I'm moving all of them to Blender because now it has improved a lot on those techniques to achieve this kind of visual style with those tune shaders and all other non-photorealistic techniques that allow you to make very convincing characters, ships, robots and all other stuff I would need for completing the project. Okay, this is an original character from the story and it's a very, it was a re a really a very basic topology I was using for helping with animation and rotoscopy and stuff like that and I took it and started refining all the shapes so as to achieve a very detailed representation of the character design with all texturing and very fine details, for example, in the eyes, eyelashes, in the hair, and hands. Blender is making this much easier because of this uh, wonderful anime style shaders we can assemble today with all those shader nodes. And that was mainly the reason why I started to take this much more seriously. The basic idea here is to separate the body, the hands, the head and the hair. So we can, for example, change the outfit or the hairstyle without having to re-rig uh, important complex parts of the character, for, like obviously the, the face and the hands. The eyes and the teeth are also separate but uh, rigged into the main armature. As you can see here, the materials are mostly based on the um, shader to RGB node, which is very common for non-photorealistic materials. You can find lots of tutorials now on YouTube on all over the internet. And I made some personal changes that can be very helpful for some special situations. For example, uh, here you can see that um, there is a tonal curve um, that I can adjust, for example, for changing tint or contrast to the shadow color uh, under some specific special lighting conditions. It can be done for the light color as well. There is also this variant. Uh, with uh, uses a mixture of the original or an original diffuse shader with a, a specular one for making things, for example, in this case in the hair, uh, the uh, very characteristic uh, specularity of the anime hair using a specular map. And as you can see, this uh, specularity doesn't affect the volume, the shadowy part of the hair. All this system allows me to explore other interesting possibilities that I'll show you in the future. And this is a very basic animation just for testing the rigging. I'm not a rigging expert by any means, but it's working pretty good. So since this is not some kind of uh, video game, real-time project, like, I don't know, the, those Arc System Works, for example, projects like Guilty Gear, 
I still can render all these elements separate and compose it and make some changes or fixes, tweaks, whatever, just by hand. It would be a little more laborious, of course, but it is way less work than just doing it the uh, old-fashioned way uh, with traditional animation, which is really prohibited. So this is all I've got for now. Maybe next week I'm going to show you some other stuff I'm working on. So stay tuned and I'll see you soon. Adios.